Hey you guys, I've been trying to find a video that would show that people actually want to do something about climate change, but unfortunately there's no nifty video like that. So what you're stuck with is me reading you some data from the Pew Research Center. Sorry about that. But if you could just follow along on the screen, I'm going to go really fast through this 39 page report so that your front loading video doesn't get too outrageous. The Pew Research Center is a reliable source for data. Basically what they do is they make polls and then collect data and then write reports on what the data says. And they are very well regarded for finding information. Sometimes you might have seen a poll like on TV where I know this happened a lot during the Trump election where it would say if you think Trump's doing a good job, call this number and say so. That's not a good poll because it's not going to collect the data that would be reflective of the real public's view. Only people who like Trump would call. And so the data would say that, of course, he's doing a great job. The Pew Research Center designs their polls so that they can be um, taken as true information about how the American public feels. So this is a report about... Um, a poll that they did in 2020 about Americans thinking that the government should do more on climate change. And further, that the, um, the support is bipartisan. So bipartisan means that both Republicans and Democrats want to do something about climate change. When you look at the internet, there's a lot of things that just say about how bad climate change is going to be, but there's also a lot of people who want to do something about climate change, and we don't ever focus on that, so that's why I'm making this video. There's not one on the internet yet. Whenever you're looking at something that is credible, it's going to have a lot of information on how they collect the data, and so here's some links on how they do that. It's actually a really complicated process, and I'm nerdy, so I care about it, so I know actually quite a bit about polling, but here's some of the results they got. Two-thirds of Americans think that the government should do more on climate change. And if we look at this chart, it's helpful because then we don't have to read all of the paragraphs. Basically, I love looking at charts for that reason. But here are the questions that were given and um, some of the data that was received. So the percent of adults who say that global climate change is affecting their local community, 63% said that it's affecting their local community. And 25%, so basically a quarter of Americans, see that climate change is affecting their life right now a lot. The federal government is doing something to reduce the effects. They said that the blank should be filled with too little. So 65% of Americans think that the U.S. government is not doing enough to address climate change. Then they have some ideas, which you can look at if you want to about what we could do to solve it. So planting trees, providing tax credits for businesses who are reducing their carbon by also capturing it and storing it instead of putting it out into the environment, tougher restrictions on power plants so that they make fewer carbon emissions in the beginning, taxing corporations based on whether or not they're emitting. This is one that really stood out to me because generally people are against taxes, but they 73%, so almost three out of four people believe that corporations or companies that make oil and gas and are responsible for a lot of the emissions should pay more. That surprised me personally. Tougher fuel efficiency for cars, so making cars more green. Um, again, a really high proportion of the population thinks that. Now, almost 80% of Americans think that the United States should prioritize. That means they should put it at the top of their list to take care of green energy sources and make these new technologies so that we can use them. Okay, bipartisan. So when it comes to climate change stuff, you're going to find out that there's actually a big divide between the total population of U.S. adults, which is shown in gray, Republicans, which is shown in red, and Democrats, which is shown in blue. So 
these policies, it's showing you the difference between all Americans, which is the gray color, the ones that say they're Democrats and the ones that say they're Republicans. So even though tougher fuel efficiency standards for cars was agreed to by about 75% of Americans in total, or I guess that's more like 70, 86% of Democrats want to do it and over half, just over half, of Republicans want to do it. Then, if we go up to planting trees, even the Republicans, which are generally against things like taxes down here, are wanting to plant trees to absorb carbon emissions. So you can see that even though Republicans are less likely to say that they support these things, still more than half of them, or a majority of them, really want to do it and if you look at on the Democrat side, you can see that it is a really high number of the population of people that identify as Democrats who want to do something about climate change. Here's one more chart we're going to look at. This is the partisan divide in views of climate change's impact on their own community. So Republican communities, only 37% of them say that it is affecting their local community, um, that climate change is affecting it. But 83% of Democrats say that it's affecting it. And then here's the overall total. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you that there is a political will amongst the people living here in this country to do something about climate change. People want to take action, but a lot of times it's really hard to take action on your own because if you can't afford to get solar panels, then you can't get solar panels. So only people who can afford that would be able to do something like that. That's why we say in this poll that the government should be taking the lead in resolving climate change rather than individual people.